Is it on? So they're going to start when? Oh, and if I'm ready? Oh, so I'm doing it over the music too? Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Got you, got you, got you. You good? Let's go. All right, what's up, fam? We about to get started. For those who don't know, my name is James. I'm here from the Bronx, New York. If you want to celebrate our wonderful black kings right here. Can we make some noise? We got some graduates in the building. This is a big deal. Too often, we are seeing our young black men on the news for the wrong reasons. So when we have our young black men out of here on the side doing something positive, we got to make sure that we giving them all the energy and love and respect that they deserve. Y'all are not making enough noise for these men right here. I need everybody that's here making noise for the men that we have that are right here doing something positive. This is something positive. We have to make sure that we are giving them the same love and respect that they deserve. So I wrote something here. I'm going to go off of it, but I'm feeling a lot of positive energy. So I'm going to go off the vibe that I'm getting right now. And the vibe that I'm getting is a lot of love, a lot of respect. Since I've gotten this park, has been I've introduced myself and met a, a few good people. I hope to meet some more positive people here and continue to build. And I hope that I can build with these gentlemen right here as well. So I'm going to get started. We're going to start with a positive affirmation. So when I say this, I need you to repeat after me. I am great. I don't feel nah, that's not good enough. Y'all got to feel it. Like I said, we being positive today. We're going to try it again. I am great. I am worthy. I will achieve anything my mind, body, and soul desires. I'm feeling that. We're going to do that one more time. I am great. I am worthy. I will achieve anything my mind, body, and soul desires. You got to feel that. A little bit about myself. Like I said, my name is James. I'm from the Bronx. Throsnay Project's about 25 minutes away from here on the other side of the Whitestone Bridge. I received a full academic scholarship to attend DePaul University in Greencastle, Indiana. Very far away from here. So like I said, we, do, we celebrate positivity today. We celebrate positivity. As of right now, I'm a ninth grade teacher. I'm a ninth grade teacher. I teach in the Bronx at a school called Earl Monroe Basketball School, the first basketball school ever in this country. The name of my class is called Sports Foundations. What does that mean? Sports Foundations is a course that teaches young men and women about jobs and careers around the game of basketball the first ever curriculum of its kind. My curriculum has been mentioned in USA Today, the New York Times, Slam Magazine, and you can also see me on Good Morning America next to Magic Johnson. From the Bronx, Grosnick Projects. So those are just my accomplishments, but we're not here to talk about me. Earl Monroe, Earl Monroe New Renaissance Basketball School in the Bronx, New York. My mission is to create excellent quality education for children in disenfranchised communities. I believe your zip code should not determine whether you have a good or bad education. So just because our kids are in the hood, that does not mean that they deserve crappy education, to say the least. But like I said, we're talking about a major accomplishment by these gentlemen right here that you see them to the left of me. This is about you. This is not about me. This is about you all getting the flowers you deserve for not quitting. This is about you doing what needed to be done even when you did not feel like doing it. 
This is about you keeping your eyes and energy on the big picture. Let me throw a couple of numbers out there. In Queens, one quarter of African American and Latino students do not graduate high school. So that means if you go to any school in Queens that's in the hood, 25% of them might not be doing what we're celebrating for these gentlemen right here, right now. So this is not a little accomplishment. This is major. Gentlemen, you're clearly up against a monster. And that monster is something you cannot see with the naked eye. You're up against a system that is designed for you to fail. A system that miseducates us. A system that pushes drugs in our communities. A system that has stripped away our culture. A system that has also locked us up for not being productive citizens of society. Y'all are going against a monster. Now with your accomplishment, what we're celebrating here today, you have the opportunity to see the other side of America. A side of prosperity, a side of opportunity, a side of wealth, a side of good education, a sign of prosperity. However, before you can achieve these things, you must ask yourself, what is success? Success is not defined by your bank account. Success is not defined by how many cars you own, by the size of your house, how many views, likes, or followers that you have on social media. That is not what defines success. We all define success differently. And I used to be a history teacher. I used to teach eighth grade history, so I'm gonna throw some numbers out there to give y'all a little bit context. Back in the day, before 1865, black success was proving to a group of people that we are not slaves. We had to prove our worth. That was black success back then. In the 1960s, black success was proving that our culture is the back bone of this country. In the 2000s and today, we're showing the world that black and Latino ownership is cool again. And how we will continue to knock down every door that separates our people from access to opportunity. Oh, let me step over here, I'm sorry. I want to make sure y'all can hear me loud and clear. So I want to do a, a quick exercise. So I need everybody to follow me real quick. And gentlemen, I would like for y'all to participate. Take a quick second and just close your eyes. We're gonna do a little bit of a manifestation activity. Take a deep breath. I want you to think about your ultimate goal. What job, career, or business are you doing? I want you to picture that. How do you feel? What are you remembered for? What impact do you have in this world? I need you to visualize these. And lastly, what legacy will you leave? Think about that legacy, because that's important. All right, you can open your eyes now. This is called the skill of manifestation. The ancient Egyptians used this and created what's called hieroglyphics. The purpose of these hieroglyphics were to not only tell the stories of what's going on today, but to also project what will happen in the future. So there are some things that they have on those hieroglyphics that they wrote thousands of years ago that are happening right now, because they manifested it. But why is that important? It's important because hate is real. Hate is real. As much as we want to avoid it, we cannot. There are going to be people and things out there that are going to try to bring you away from those dreams that you just manifested. But for example, you have to be stronger than that. NBA superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo, if y'all don't know if you heard of him, he's playing today. When he was 19 years old, he told the world that he was going to be an NBA superstar. They laughed at him. Look at him today, champion. 
MVP, two-time defensive player of the year. They laughed at him. He had to protect those dreams. Jay-Z from Brooklyn, he told his uncle that he would sell a million records when they were living in Marcy Projects. His uncle said, you would never do that. Jay-Z not only sold a million records, he sold a million records about a million times. When I was in the 12th grade, I told my friends that I'm gonna compete for a scholarship. My best friends, people that I consider, my, I, to this day, consider my brothers. I told them, I'm gonna go for a scholarship. They said, you're bugging, you're not gonna get that. They laughed at me. No, but I understood it at the time, because you know, they, don't, they couldn't see the bigger picture. But despite what they said, I went downtown and competed for that scholarship in the middle of Manhattan with all the kids in New York City. And with that, I was the first kid in my high school to win this scholarship award worth $250,000 for me to go to school. My mom, who's sitting right here in the pink, did not have to pay a dime for me to go to school. And that's because I chose to protect my dreams. Well, the only thing she had to pay for was my cell phone bill, but that's a, that's a whole other thing. But we've achieved these stats because we decided to protect our dreams. And my point is for you all to continue to manifest, to continue to protect, and for, I just wanna leave you with these keys before I get out of here. Here are the four keys to success. Education, ambition, sacrifice, and hard work. Education, ambition, sacrifice and hard work and we're here celebrating because they have already exemplified those four keys for success you already have your education which is what we're celebrating today you already have ambition or else you wouldn't be crossing the stage if you didn't have ambition you've already sacrificed there's probably times where you had to tell your friends now i gotta study or you had to go turn on social media or turn off the tv you've already made sacrifices and you've all worked extremely, extremely hard. So keep those keys with you. Education, ambition, sacrifice, and hard work. And with those keys, you will be successful. So before we go, I just wanna say our mantra that we started with. So please repeat after me. I am great. I am worthy. I will achieve anything my mind, body, and soul desires. I am great. I am worthy. I will achieve anything my mind, body, and soul desires. I love each and every single one of you here. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. Gentlemen, let's give them one big round of applause, please. Can we stand up? This is a big deal. Can we stand up for these gentlemen right here? Please, if you can, let's stand up. Make some noise for the accomplishment that we have right here, right now in Queens, New York. This is a big deal. This is not a little middle school accomplishment. This is major. And they're gonna go on and continue to put on for their community. Remember, remember these faces. Remember these faces. This is not going to be the last time that you see them standing here. All right? And you all got my support. Whatever you need, let me know. You need help with resumes, you need help with a job, you need a gym, whatever, football field like I got. I got access to all of that. So let me know. If you need it, you got it. All right? Thank you so much. Congratulations again, fellas. Congrats. 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 Super proud of y'all. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you again, Jane Gadjikasia, the educator, for coming out. His story is amazing. If you can, Google him, look him up. Now, I just wanted to take a second. We actually have a couple of graduates here, but we actually have a couple of college students here. 
They graduated last year, and I want to take time to honor them too, because it's not just about what you did, it's about what you continue to do. So first we're going to start with Darius Rivers. Okay. He goes to Monroe College. Yeah, let's, let's, let's collab, bro. Let's collab. We actually have certificates donated by Projects to Projects. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're honoring these guys. So it's actually, I call him Young NBA. I think he died on me, but I think my mouth is big enough, right? <laughs> He plays basketball, and right now, if you look up his stats, he Check, check, check. 